Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam. Ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da. Ahabati fillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all throughout kitabihi, through his book, the Quran, he mentions the virtues of seeking knowledge. And we try to talk a lot about seeking knowledge because Al-ilm, it benefits you, it benefits I, myself, it benefits the creation. And it benefits the creation because we need ilm to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al kareem And say, My Rabb increase me not in knowledge. Rabbi zidni ilmin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says for Kitab al-Kareem, are those who know equal to those who know not? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala distinguishes between, and He's the creator of the heavens and earth, He distinguishes between those who have knowledge and those who don't. The people of ilm, and that means ilm of ibadah, of how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that they practice that knowledge. Because again, there's a difference between those who've acquired some knowledge, but yet don't practice, don't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with that knowledge. And those who, who've acquired knowledge and practice. And that likewise, there's a difference between those who are jahil, who, don't see, who, who are ignorant, and who don't seek to increase their knowledge about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and about his commandments, about what he wants from us, about the purpose of creation, about the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the example, and how to get our deeds accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there's a difference. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kitab al Kareem, <clears throat> Allah will increase, Allah will exalt in degree those of you who believe and those who have been granted knowledge. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises Ahl al-Ilm darajat. He raises them to different levels and different degrees based upon their knowledge. So they have a fadl. They have a great degree of benefit over you and I because of our lack of knowledge and because of their knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about the fadl of the ulama and that they fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala the most Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says it is only those who have knowledge among his slaves that fear Allah have the ulama that's the ulama that they have the most knowledge they fear Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala the most and they they uh, actualize taqwa taqwa of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala fulfilling the commandments and avoiding his prohibitions so look at that. that. It shows us that ilm requires amal. Al-ilm yastalzimu al-amal. That true Islamic knowledge, the one who's truly gaining knowledge, the true talib al-ilm, that they are actualizing that knowledge on their limbs. It's not simply something that they, they, it's not, as they say, lip service. It's not just that they talk about ilm, but they have no practice. It's not that they talk about knowledge, but they have the worst. There's no uh, islah in their dunya. There's no rectification. There's nothing good in their dunya. It's not that they just uh, acquire knowledge and claim knowledge, but yet their manners are atrocious, so that they're not practicing that knowledge, that they're not actualizing it on their limbs. They're not making a change and attempting to change their character, attempting to be better servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's not the affair. That's not what is required. That's not what is meant by Islamic knowledge. Islamic knowledge is going to be the practice, the increase in our ibadah, the increase in coming closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.